Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Rare Candy here today. We are back on PTCGO taking a look at Hydreigon today, Dark Box, whatever you want to call this deck. I know Eternatus has kind of been, you know, hogging all of the thunder from uh, all of the Dark Pokemon that we still have in the format, but Hydreigon is another kind of cool card that Dark got from the recent Darkness of Blaze sets. That's what we are going to be trying to build around here today. And before we get into the rest of this deck, of course, be sure to smack that like button to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys need any cards to complete this deck or any others, you guys can head over to ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy, all caps, one word. Save yourself some money. And of course, our patrons have their own exclusive discount code for an even bigger discount. So if you guys are in the market for some codes, check out our friends over at ptcgostore.com. But with that being said, let's check out the actual deck today. Of course, Hydreigon, a new card from Darkness Ablaze, has the Dark Squall ability as often as you like during your turn. You may attach a Dark Energy from hand to one of your Pokemon. So this is effectively just like the old Blastoise from Boundaries Crossed or the Embor back from Black and White or even some of the more recent Magnezones. We've seen this ability, you know, time and time again throughout the years. And historically, it has been pretty good. I mean... This is a different format than those formats, but nevertheless, there's precedent for this ability to be good. You know, this is a stage two, which makes it a little bit worse than Frostmoth, but at the same time, it's kind of better in some ways as well, because you can attach your energy to any Pokemon, not just the corresponding type. And also, we can attach to Pokemon in the active slot, which is, I think, the bigger selling point here over something like Frostmoth. So this is what the entire deck is going to be based around. But we do need some dark attackers, of course, to power up with this thing. As you can see, we are leaning a little bit more heavily on the Greninja and Zoroark GX. Of course, for the dark pulse attack, just 30 times the amount of dark energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So dark pulse, you know, we're just trying to just flood as much energy as possible into play. Hit for big amounts of damage with this thing. But we are still playing some of the other dark tag teams that are still in the format. We have one copy of the Mega Sableye Tyranitar GX. Greedy Crush is a really solid attack. Whenever you knock out a Pokemon GX, you can take an additional prize. And we still have things like Dedenne's floating around in the format. Even Mewtwo Mew is still a uh, popular Pokemon. ADP, etc. So Greedy Crush can sometimes come in and uh, get you an extra prize. Gigafall GX, also not a bad GX attack. So if you have at least five extra energy which is pretty wild. You you will need 10 to pull off the fully powered Gigafall GX, but you discard the top 15 cards of your opponent's deck, which is definitely a really solid, um, you know, secondary effect. Now, can we get 10 energy on Mega Sableye Tyranitar? Eh, I don't know about that. I think Greedy Crush is going to be the bigger selling point here. Uh, but we do also have one copy of Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Black Lance is a solid little two-shotting attack. Uh, does 150 then 60 to one of your opponent's bench pokemon gx or ex this is really good because getting that 60 snipe on something like a mewtwo mew or even a dedenne is good because something like uh mega sableye tyranitar can come in on those gx's and you know get an extra prize likewise we do have the guzzlord in the deck as well with the red bank attack this 120 and much like in the case of mega sableye tyranitar if that pokemon is knocked out even if it's not a gx we get an additional prize card, which is really nice. So this is good against those Blacephalons and other one prizers that are roaming around in the format. Uh, as you can see, we have a couple of different uh, other bench sitters in the deck. We have the one Oranguru, the one Crobat, the one Dedenne. And looking to the rest of the deck, not a whole lot of bells and whistles. I mean, there's not a whole lot of room in this deck since we are a stage two deck. You know, we are playing the one Black Market Prism Star. This could easily become like a third Viridian if you wanted, but... Uh, you know, we're going to play the black mark if we can deny an extra prize whenever our opponent takes a knockout. I think that's really nice. Uh, we do have two copies of the hiding dark energy in the deck as well. So it's going to provide us free retreat and, you know, provides a dark energy in the process. But we do still have the two air balloons to go with it. So a couple of different ways we can, you know, make our board a little bit more nimble, freely re retreat without having to discard energies. Uh, we also have some energy recovery in the form of energy retrieval and also the ordinary rod as well. So that's going to be the deck, guys. I'll attend some games and we'll show off Hydreigon, see if it can, uh, you know, live up to the legacy of some of its other predecessors like Embor, Blastoise, etc. All right, so let's go and call the coin flip. We do lose the flip, which is kind of a bummer actually with this deck. 
Oh, but they're going to choose to go second, so this might be a fire deck if that's the case. That'd probably be my best guess. Could maybe be Vicavolt, something like that, but I think it's going to be some sort of welder variant, more than likely. So I'll have to ultimately see what they're going to have. Uh, unfortunately, this hand, not too good at all. Now, good thing is we can get an energy attachment down, I guess, but... Yeah, hopefully they aren't playing something that can just like one-shot us turn one like uh, Blacephalon. That would be bad. Oh, here they're going to go for... It's going to be Decidueye, so interesting they're choosing to go second. Okay. So... I feel pretty good about this. We have Hydreigon, we have Guzzlord, so we definitely have some ways at getting set up. I really don't want to get rid of this Black Market right away and two bosses orders. But I think we do need to, like, do something with this hand. So, unfortunately, I think I am just going to end up tossing this hand with the Dene. Unfortunately. Like, we could go for Crobat, but I think we just need a lot. I'm fine getting rid of Boss's Orders, actually, just because we do have uh, non-Pokemon V answers to these Decidueyes whenever it gets up and running. So we're just going to go for the Dene here. Okay, so this is actually a great hand, so we will just do this. Get rid of the research. I mean, we could get rid of the Zuelus as well, but if we top deck a Pokemon Communication, I would rather have that in my hand than the other copy of research. So this looks like a really good turn too, as long as our opponent doesn't Marnie us or Reset Stamp us, something like that. Be in good shape. Uh, we'll just need to find some energy. And there is a power plant. So actually really happy we did get down the, uh, the Dene. That would have been really bad news for us if we had not had that happen. There is a communication. And of course, this is the Decidueye that is going to prevent damage from GXs and Pokemon V. That is fine. But again, we have some answers to that. We have the Guzzlord. Actually, should have checked to see if Guzzlord was in deck. That's going to be really important. And very interesting. They're playing the Rowlet Alolan Executor. So that's going to be an easy three prizes for us at some point this game here. I imagine we're going to see them just hard retreat into the Executor to easily set up their Decidueyes. I mean, it's like kind of a cute way of getting your Decidueyes powered up, but at the same time, I mean, the whole thing with Decidueyes is you want to deny prizes and having a three prizer on the field and they're playing Rillaboom. Okay, so maybe this is like, maybe this is more of a Rillaboom deck that just happens to play a Rowlet in the deck as well? I'm not sure. We have a double. Okay, yeah. So this looks closer to a Rillaboom deck, just with, I guess, like a thin 1-1-1 one, one, one line of Decidueye. Um, but yeah, we have plenty of prizes on the board. We did have to discard two bosses' orders, but I mean, I think it's ultimately going to be fine here. Now, what's actually... What could be annoying is actually a uh, Tropical Hour GX, because if they have six energy, they can shuffle all of our energy back into our deck, which would be super annoying for our deck since we're trying to flood the board with tons of energy. So here it looks like they are they are prioritizing the real boom. Makes sense. Um, okay, so we're just gonna go for the rare candy hydragon. Research this hand. Let's see. All right, so we can go for the... Do we want to... Just trying to think where we're gonna attach everything. I think I'm cool with smacking this thing with our Mega Sableye Tyranitar. So we'll just go for the Dark Squall. If we draw to the high dark energy, that needs to be our manual attachment for turn. So we can just get this guy down. Um, yeah, we're going to attempt to play down our hand as much as possible here. So we'll do both. Get our Zuelus back. We already discarded a couple rare candy, so. We can do this, I think. And we'll just go for a Crobat. Draw some more cards here. Now, unfortunately, we did not hit energy. So I think we'll Primate Wisdom. I'll put Quick Ball back on top of deck. Unfortunately, no energy there, but we can at least bump their Stadium. 
Uh, we'll probably get rid of the communication here, I would imagine. And unfortunately, we're just going to probably Yeah, I guess we'll just do this and pass. So kind of a bummer. Now we got pretty close to getting off our attack. We actually had a pretty good turn. We had the Hurricane Hydreigon, Research, Crobat, just kind of a hard time finding energy there. We did get a Viridian Forest, but... Yeah, kind of a bummer this turn for sure. So now we're going to be an attack behind, which really bums me out here. Well, let's see, if we hit for 210, even if they heal with Calming Hurricane, Guzzlord can still get us that KO um, on the following turn. So I actually don't mind trading hits with this. There is a big charm, so yeah, they're gearing up to eventually use this Decidueye. Um, but again, we have plenty of ways at dealing with this. I'm not too worried about that. And there is a Marty. So I actually don't mind that. They're going to reset our hand for us. We definitely want to draw into... Okay, so we got some energies. Unfortunately, our hand's kind of dead beyond that, but at least we have enough to get off an attack. That's really the big thing here. Okay, so we drew into Marty. That's also fantastic. So... Let's go for the Dark Squall. And I'm fine letting the Mega Sebelai Terminator go down, I think, here. So we'll just go for the Marty in this case. Okay, also pretty solid. So we'll do that. We'll get rid of Zuelus here. And we'll probably stone and put back the Marnie on top of our deck, just in case we get hit with another Marnie here, we will be guaranteed to draw supporter. Okay, so we'll just keep gearing up to attack with this guy. Get that down. And so even if they bring up our Hydreigon, we can still just attach manually to this Guzzlord. So we'll go for the Greedy Crush here, 210. So our Mega Sable, well, actually, they're pro I forgot, we're probably going to get Tropical Hour here, which feels kind of bad. So maybe we should have, like, maybe we should have hung on to the Dark Energy here. But I guess, yeah, maybe so. But, I mean, if they do go for the Tropical Hour, we actually have good odds of drawing back into everything oh i forgot if they do go for the trop tower that's really bad because we just put marnie on top of our deck yikes but okay if they do knock us out here we can still just viridian knock out the relic with our guzzlord here so either way we should still be able to get a knockout regardless i think Okay, there is an Elder Goss from our opponent. And okay, they're just gonna go for the Calming Hurricane. I'm actually cool with that because I actually really wanted that Marnie that, uh, that we had uh, on top of our deck. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to Marty them this turn. Absolutely for sure. So we'll just go for the Marty here. Okay, there is a Zoro Ninja. But we might have to... Like, I kind of want to start powering up our... So if we have Darkrai in deck, that's something I do want to go for. So here I'm just going to get rid of this other Viridian. 
Okay, so Darkra is prized. But we might hit Darkra off the prizes, so. But I'm kind of cool with this. So, sure, we'll just quick ball here. Just grab a Dino, that's fine. And let's see. Sure, we'll primate wisdom as well. Let's see what we have here. Okay, doesn't really matter too much, but we'll just go for the Red Banquet. Knock out the uh, Rowlet Alone Executor. Okay, so all we need to do is eventually knock out this double. There's something beyond Dark Cry, so I actually wouldn't mind that. We can get that power, like, I mean, I think we're probably good no matter what, but I shouldn't say no matter what, but um, we can just, I think, two shot this thing and be okay. Cause we can two shot it with Guzzlord and the Oranguru, but what would be nice is if we had our other boss's orders. And was able to just like bring up double or something and knock that out. Cause right now what they have 240, let's see how much we're doing with Zora Ninjas. So we got, it's 30 base damage, right? Yeah, so 30, 60, 90, 20, 50, 180. Yeah, we actually would still need a little bit more if we did want to knock that out. But either way, I kind of feel okay about this. What I wouldn't mind doing is maybe even getting in our first hit with our Oranguru. And then after that gets knocked out, we come in with Guzzlord to get our extra prize to win the game, essentially. So there's an Elder Goss, okay. Now, if they bench that, I'm definitely cool with that. Like, I think I would like to see them, Eldegoss, go for Marnie, reset our hand, and then we draw into our other boss's orders to bring up Eldegoss to win. There is a research, though. So no Marnie for us, unfortunately. Okay, and they did find their Decidueye, okay? Another big charm coming down, okay. And there's a reset stamp, so that's definitely a bit of a bummer. Is what it is, I guess, though. So, yeah, I definitely want to retreat this turn, smack them with the Ranguru, or even Hydreigon. Either one's probably okay at this point. Um, so let's see, we will just Primate Wisdom. Because if we just draw the, what? Yeah, if we just draw the boss's orders here, we could win. I know that it's kind of unlikely, but we're gonna go for it. Okay, yeah, so nothing really special there. Uh, we'll go for the Dark Squall, we will. Yeah, just go. Yeah, we'll just attach to the Oranguru, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that. And we will Marnie. Okay, we got Aranger Retrieval as well, that's great. So at this point, am I cool getting rid of... Yeah, I think we can Viridian away this Dino here. Okay, and our other boss source is in deck still, so that's definitely good. But I mean, no doubt they're going to want to retreat this turn after we smack this guy. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna kind of chill with this hand for the moment. 
yeah so we'll just click done or retreat and we'll just go for the old whap down in this instance so we do 70 the next turn like i said we can come in with red banquet and uh finish off this decision if they don't actually retreat oh man a second recess damn that feels bad okay we at least got a marnie though and a boss's orders Ooh, and they have oh man that's actually a really good turn for them that's a bummer for sure let's see we do have another energy retrieval i forget if it's in deck though Yeah, this is bad. Let's see. They've used two bosses of order, so they might have a third. Hard to say. I mean, if they play Great Catcher, that's also kind of bad because we are kind of like GX heavy over here. So we'll just promote the Oranger since it does have the free retreat right now. And man, their hand is huge. So I'm like half tempted to go for a Marnie. That might be the better play potentially. I think limiting their hand size is probably important here. So we do have energy retrieval in deck. Hmm. So we'll just go for that. Yeah, the big charm really messing us up here. Um, hmm. So we'll primate wisdom, we'll put communication back on top of deck. So we'll Viridian, I think we'll toss rare candy. really want to hit that energy retrieval though <laughs> and i imagine they're gonna be out of reset stamps at this point so i'm just trying to think like the issue is like we i almost kind of want to hang on to the dark energy because we only have two energy left to work with And yeah, so we're just going to go for, I think the, I think our game plan is actually just to win by knocking out one of these guys. So maybe we should just get down. Ah, oh, man, this feels horrible. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get this down. I think our game plan is to just win by knocking out Crobat at this point, if possible. Ooh, if that's the case, do we just retreat? Uh, then we have hmm like I want to retreat into a two prizer but they can just knock out whatever two prizer we have up Let's see 30 69 20 50 80 yeah we need energy retrieval in order to win I think I'm actually just gonna do this and sacrifice the hydragon because next turn we can just win with boss's orders on the crowbat and that's going to be game. We just, not, we just need them not to have boss's orders or great catcher and to not reset stamp or Marnius yet again. <laughs> there is tag call. So if we see a Mallow and Lana, I actually wouldn't hate that either. Because again, at this point, I don't want to go through this since they like bossed up our... Okay, so there's the Malana. I'm cool with that. Since they did boss up our Guzzlord, I... this thing is just way too much work to go through. Just still need an additional knockout afterwards. So Crobat's definitely the guy we're going to chase down here. They didn't have the big charm. This wouldn't have been as big of a deal, but I'm not going to three-shot at Sidui here <laughs> if we don't have to. Okay, and they are gonna kind of take the bait, just knock out the Hydreigon, it's weak to grass. 
So let's just double check our math. 30, 60, 90 with 20, 50, 80. Yep, that's going to be enough to knock out Crobat. So pretty close game here, but we are ultimately going to take the dub. Again, unless I can't count to save my life, that should be the game here. So we're just going to go for the boss orders, bring up Crobat, and then from there we can just retreat for free and go for the Dark Pulse here. So just barely won that one by the skin of our teeth there. Okay, let's call the coin flip, which we do lose. So let's see what our opponent is going to choose to do here. Okay, they're going to choose to go first. And we see the Eternus deck box. So we might have like a uh, dark deck showdown here potentially. We'll have to see. But this hand's actually pretty decent for going second. Now, the one thing that does get a little bit interesting is do we actually put down the black market if this is the Eternatus match? Okay, but we see a Drachi, so this must not be Eternatus. It might be. Well, we really don't know. The deck box not, might not really show us much. Oh, but they do have the Zacian coins. This could be like Zacian. Could be Zacian ADP. Could be Zacian uh, Luck Metal. We'll have to see. You know, the Lucario Melmetal variant just did pretty well at an online event, so I have been running into a decent amount of that. Um, but I still think we could be in an okay spot. I like Dark Moon GX is a really good GX attack if that is the case. Okay, but it's going to be Archidog Apalkia. So going second in particular is kind of a bummer against their deck. There's the Chaotic Swell, unfortunately. But I don't mind. I mean, we can still bump this, pave the way for, for a uh, Viridian on future turns. Now, if we can bypass the... Like, after they go Alter Creation, if we can take a knockout with a full, fully powered Dark Moon, I think that's definitely our best case scenario here. So we'll just attach this guy. And unfortunately, we are going to have to toss away two bosses orders. Um, I might bench the second Dino here, and we'll just go for the research. Okay. Um... So what do we get down here? I think I actually might just dead a change to be honest, guys. So we'll put Zora Ninja back in deck. I'm cool with that. Like I just really want to aggressively dig and make sure we get um, this knockout in the next turn. So we do have our Umbreon Darkrai in deck. That's good. We have all four rare candies, all three Hydreigons. So we have like all the pieces we really are going to be stressing about finding here. Ooh, after this, we are going to be out of researches, though. Um, but we do still have three Marnies. We do still have Crobat as well. So I'm cool with this. We're just going to get down the air balloon here and go for the Dead A change. There's a Crobat. So I think for the moment, we'll just go for the Ram, I guess. Um... Like we could quick ball, but I think for the moment we're fine just going for the ram here. The 10 damage I don't think is probably going to matter in this matchup. We'll have to see. There's a tag call from our opponent. So just maybe Guzmahal. If they're playing the Aurora Energy, Guzmahal actually could be a consideration for them. Cynthia Caitlin also as well, maybe. Okay, and they do have the Guzmahal. So I really hope they don't have another swell. That would be kind of an annoyance for us. Ta, <laughs> and they do. So, yeah, our stadium's unfortunately not in too great shape this game. It's definitely going to make getting off that Pale Moon GX a bit harder. I mean, I guess there is a world where we could take a knockout with Zora Ninja. So if we got six energies into play, what, that's 28 to 10? Yeah, we would still need... It'd actually be easier to get a knockout with Umbreon Darkrai. Okay, so we got the Pokemon communication. That's actually amazing. So we can do this. 
we can go for Hydreigon. Rare candy on Dragon here. Um, so we just quick ball. Getting rid of this guy since we can energy retrieval. Uh, we get this guy here. Do that, and we'll just go for a Marnie. So we need to hit a good bit here. Okay, so we can still go for Crobat. That's sort of the good news about the spot that we're in. So I think we'll just get back the... So first let's do this. Do we have a Ranger? That's another card we can check on. Okay, so we don't have a Ranger in deck, but if we can pull this off, we're gonna be in such a good spot. The only thing is like, I'm sketchy about putting both dark energies back in deck just because that increases, like if we hit energy retrieval, suddenly energy retrieval is a dead card. So I think we just are gonna go for the energies here. And just hope that we don't hit the, uh, the energy retrievals off of Crobat. So let's see, can we get it? Uh, unfortunately, we did not quite get there, guys. It's actually a situation where I kind of almost wish we had another... Like another the Dene or something at this point. So... So the next question is, what do we do here? Like... So we'll just go for the Dark Squall for sure. Um, like we don't really want to attack with Zora Ninja because Zacian can just like nuke that thing. So if we ever are going to attack with Zora Ninja, we need to be knocking out a Zacian at the same time. So I think we just... um. I think we almost let the Dino go down. That's sort of where my thought process is right this second. So I'm kind of cool with just letting this hand chill like this, I suppose, for the moment. Yeah, I think I'm kind of cool with that. And so we're just going to go for the Ram here, I think. So we could Quick Ball or something like that, but if they do bring up our Hydreigon and knock that out, I want to leave the option of like communicate. Like if we top deck Rare Candy, I want to be able to keep Quick Ball and communication in hand to be able to get another Hydreigon uh, set up. So yeah, feels kind of bad whiffing this KO. I feel like if we would have gotten the Full Moon GX, like we would just been such a dominant position. Okay, but here it looks like they're just planning on going for like the boss's order strategy. Just knock out two of these bench hitters and that's gonna be like their game plan, which I'm fine with. We can just... Because Dark Moon will shut off boss's order, so I'm cool if that winds up being the case. So we'll just do this, since it does have the hide energy attached to it. Okay, so yeah, this is why I kept the hand the way it was in case we did top deck that rare candy. So what we're gonna do here is we will just... Sure, quick ball. Uh, I'll wave that communication, that's cool. And probably just go for this guy, I think. So sure, we'll just do this. Go for the Marnie, and we definitely have to get this knockout, otherwise I think we've just kind of lost. Okay, so we like just barely got there, but uh, we did manage to make it happen. So we will just get down this Viridian. Uh, yeah, we'll just toss away this Dino, grab ourselves Dark Energy. 
I still like kind of feel like we're a turn behind, but at least this will make us boss proof for a turn. That's the one thing I do kind of like about the spot that we're going to be in on this next turn. So I'll just retreat and go for the fully powered Dark Moon GX. So if we can knock this guy out next turn. Like if we can hit boss's orders or some way to get that, that'd be amazing. Research, unfortunately, so no boss's orders. I imagine we'll probably just see them leave Jirachi up this turn. Now, if they hit a boss's orders off this Stellar Witch, that's going to be a big bummer for us, I do have to say. I mean, and they can actually end their turn with an Intrepid Sword as well. So there is a Quick Ball. We might see a... Oh, no, we we won't see a Dedenne GX because they are Trainer Lock. So there is an Intrepid Sword. And they are going to wake up. So can we get a boss? Okay, so we... Um, what do we actually attack with here? So I don't think we actually need this guy anymore. So we're going to do this. We want to basically thin to try to hit a boss's orders. We still have some, and ooh, we only have one in deck. So we have a 1 in 15 chance of hitting that. But if we hit a Marnie, I'm actually cool with that as well, because we do need to get down this Ranguru. Uh, Primate Wisdom, we can just put the Rare Candy back on top of deck. Cool with that. And fortunately, that is not what we want to see. So our opponent's hand is huge here. I'm honestly not feeling too confident that we're going to be able to um, get what we need here. So they're hitting for 260. I don't think they're playing Shrine or Vitality Band, more than likely. So I'm actually probably okay with attacking with this um this guy but actually i might even just kind of hedge my bets here and get an energy here give us the option of going for a whap down so we'll just do this and we'll just research so yeah not having the marnie or the boss's orders really felt bad there i do have to say So I think we're just going to quick ball away a rare candy. I'm fine with that. Grab Guzzler out deck just to thin a little bit. And I think I'm just going to save this hand for the moment. That's fine. And we're just going to go for the Black Lance. And I mean, if if they don't have the boss's orders, which it's, it's likely they do with a hand that big or a way to get it. Um, you know, we're in a good spot to just clean up this last knockout with this Zora Ninja. But again, guys, that hand's huge. Was that like a 10 card hand? Let's see. There's Quick Ball. So if they play Eldegoss, that would also do the trick. But they have two boss orders in discard. So if they don't have Eldegoss or they don't play it, we might actually have a decent... Oh, and they have the Eldegoss. So we brought it close, guys. I mean, I think we... Like I said, we were a turn behind. I think we either needed to get the... Fully powered Dark Moon a turn prior, or on my last turn, we needed Boss's Orders or Marnie to disrupt our opponent. That was sort of the big thing. If either of those two things had changed, I think we would have been in a really good spot. But, you know, we uh, we did our best. I don't think we really misplayed much that game, I guess. But, um, you know, we brought it pretty close, if nothing else. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our look here at the Hydreigon Dark Box deck. I guess this now takes the place of dark box since weavile is probably not as efficient as a form of energy acceleration as this i don't know you you decide what you want to call this but yeah this is going to be the hydragon deck i mean eternus is definitely i think the better of the new dark pokemon we got from darkness of blaze but at the least it's always nice to have more energy acceleration options in the format if nothing else but that's going to be the deck, guys. Hope you did enjoy today's content. If you did, of course, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you can, consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.